Hi Calvary, I'm Christian. Have you ever experienced a time where you've cried out to God and it felt like God wasn't listening? In today's word for the day, the author of Psalm 77 is going through a difficult time. He's crying out to God, feeling ignored, and goes on a rant, calling God out for what he perceives as unjust treatment. In the first 10 verses of this chapter, the author is listing out his complaints. I'll pick up at verse 7. He says, Has the Lord rejected me forever? Will he never again be kind to me? Is his unfailing love gone forever? Has, have his promises permanently failed? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he slammed the door on his compassion? It's slightly amusing how quickly we can forget all we know about God and allow our sinful nature to influence our thoughts and feelings, even to the point of panic. In verse 10, he resigns to the fact that this is his new normal. He's worried himself into complete defeat. In verse 10, he says, This is my fate. The Most High has turned his hand against me. He worked himself into a tizzy and no longer just feels ignored. He's convinced himself with that last statement that God is actually working against him. Does this sound familiar to you? Have you ever let your worries consume you to the point that you were convinced everything you knew about the character of God was no longer valid? If you have, don't worry. You're not the only one. The Bible is full of stories from Christ followers lamenting the fears of God's rejection, when in reality, God was there all along and was waiting for the right time to move. But then something happens. The psalmist remembers that the God he is waiting on is the same God that made a path through the Red Sea to save the Israelites from the Egyptian army. He then spends the next 10 verses remembering and praising God for the good things he's done. Verse 11 says, But then I recall all you have done, O Lord. I remember, remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They are constantly in my thoughts. I can't stop thinking about your mighty works. O God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? You are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. By your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. See, we can talk ourselves into complete despair during times of waiting on the Lord, or we can recall the amazing things our God has done in the past and simply believe that He can do it again. If you're in a tough spot and are tempted to doubt that God is there working on your behalf, let me encourage you to do what this psalmist did and look back at the ways God has moved in your life in the past, or read one of the stories in the Bible that tells of His power and majesty. One more thing I'd like to encourage you to do Memorize scriptures, or at the very least, a scripture that you can quote during periods where God feels far away to you. One of my favorites is Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In our Christian walk, there will be times where God allows us to wait on him. These times are meant to test and ultimately strengthen our faith. So let me encourage you to pass this test by trusting Him, even when it doesn't come easy for you. God is there and He loves you. Have a great day, Calvary.